right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn about collision detection in Scratch. We're going to learn about how to detect sprite and sprite collisions. So, example, when this ball runs into the cat. And we're going to learn about uh, sprite side collisions and how we can control these things in a program. So, here we have our ball. And I've already added when a flag, green flag is clicked. And it's going to switch to the purple ball costume, and it's going to show. That. Now, how are we going to work this here? So we have to check two things. So I just don't want the ball to fly into the side and end there because it can't go any further. I want it to bounce off and keep going around. Luckily in Scratch, there's a handy command for that. If on edge bounce. So the sprite will automatically detect when it hits the edge and it will bounce so first we have to get the ball to move so let's do that so let's repeat this forever if we go to motion we can turn the, the ball uh, to start to move at a certain angle but rather than to start at the same angle all the time i'm going to pick a random angle between uh, zero and 360. And I'm going to tell it to move 10 steps in the motion tool. Nope. Oh, it's got a glide. I need, I need the move step in there. I need the move step inside the forever loop. That way the ball keeps moving around the screen. So now I just have to worry about sprite sprite collisions because nothing is happening when the ball is hitting the cat. So I need to add some code for that. So that, that'll be in the sensing tools here. So touching mouse pointer. If I drop down this menu, I can go to sprite one. So I need an if then command. If the ball is touching the cat, which is sprite one, then we want it to bounce off the cat. So let's do that. So if then so what do I want I want the ball to turn at uh, 180 degrees. I want to add 180 degrees to the angle uh, to what the ball came in to the cat. We need to turn turn the ball 180 degrees. So let's try that here. Ready? There we go, and let's see how that works. Oh, there we go. Oh, the ball because it gets stuck on the cat, like oh, like that. So we can try to fix that. If we if we move the ball away from the cat faster, then the cat uh, will get stuck to the ball as often. So if I put a move ten steps here, uh, the ball will move away faster from the uh, from the cat and we'll get stuck. So let's try that. Oh, except we get stuck along the side. 